it's not. Please. Brexit. Um, Brexit. Secretary Kerry said David Cameron has no idea how to leave the EU, quote, and by the way, nor do most of the people who voted to do it, end quote, <laughs> followed by laughter. Isn't it this kind of condescension that led uh, the British voters voting the way they did? I mean, before the referendum, Brexit advocates had a bump in the polls when President Obama told the UK, you're going to be at the back of the queue if you go ahead with this. Do you think more condescension is going to help change their mind? So I don't think there's any condescension. Uh, I think everybody, uh, including the British um, uh, people and government, as well as uh, the EU uh, authorities and the European people, um, or the people, the mem member states of the EU, we put it that way. Everyone is looking hard now at how this process moves forward. Uh, and I think that there's a degree of uh, examination uh, at, at how the mechanisms and, 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 and uh, agreements uh, and how this, um, uh, this separation uh, will take place. Uh, I, I think the Secretary was simply highlighting that uh, this is not going to be something that happens overnight. But how is it U.S. officials' place to say what Brexit voters understand or have no idea about? Again, uh, the Secretary was speaking in an environment, uh, the Aspen Ideas, I think you're talking about the forum that he was at yesterday, um, uh, where he was being very casual about his comments. But what he was trying to underscore was the fact that uh, that this is a complicated process and that uh, we need to move forward, not we, but the, uh, the UK and the EU need to move forward uh, slowly and deliberatively as they tackle it. Um, look, this is uncharted territory in a sense. And so there are laws and, and processes that exist, but I think as they move forward with this, it's going to take some time. Uh, but also just to underscore, this is not the U.S. trying to inflict its viewpoint or in any way kind of shape this process. I think what we're trying to show in the immediate aftermath of last week's vote is our strong partnership, continued partnership with the EU, and then as well as that, our strong bilateral relationship with the U.K. And the fact that no matter what happens with Brexit, uh, those relationships will continue and abide. Do you think that Secretary Kerry was so – a uh, little casual when saying that. Do you think the president saying that the UK was going to be at the end of the queue was also a little bit too casual? Not at all. And I think that, and I'm not trying to say that they were, uh, and I'm sorry if I gave that impression. Look, I mean, you know, by casual I meant that they were uh, simply sharing uh, their viewpoints. But in the president's case, I think he was very explicitly sending a message that how we felt about this vote. But at the same time, we recognize that this was a democratic process, and we respect that process, and we said as much in the immediate aftermath of the vote. Please, sir, a couple more.